Hello and welcome to House News. In this episode, we will present to you the latest information coming from the House of Representatives of the Republic of Indonesia. Before we get started, here are some news headlines for today. BKSAP of the House received a courtesy call from the Japanese ambassador to Indonesia. The meeting focused on enhancing bilateral relations and cooperations in education, tourism, and cultural exchanges. The chairperson of BKSAP of the House received a courtesy visit from the British ambassador to Indonesia to discuss global challenges and cooperations in various fields. The House reminds the National Standardization of Indonesia, or SNE, can protect the domestic industry, including business operators, consumers, and its environment. The House hopes the 79th Independence Day will drive innovation and progress. Improving cybersecurity remains a key focus, emphasizing data protection and economic benefits. In a viral social media post, a physics school teacher decided to use One Piece character stretching abilities to teach physics. BKS Ape of the House welcomed the Japanese ambassador to Indonesia. The committee recognizes the importance of strengthening Indonesia-Japan relations as Japan remains a key strategic partner for Indonesia in Asia. Chairperson of BKSAP of the House Fadli Zon appreciated the ongoing cooperation between Indonesia and Japan, which has been established since 1958 and has developed into industry, energy, and agriculture sector. Japan is Indonesia's largest trading partner and investor. Therefore, there is a need to more optimize this relationship, especially in education and tourism field. Additionally, new cooperations in the area of artificial intelligence should also be explored. Sekarang juga semakin banyak uh, turis dari Jepang maupun dari Indonesia yang saling uh, berkunjung kedua negara jadi semakin banyak pemahaman pengertian antara kedua negara. Pada intinya uh, duta besar Jepang ingin dengan uh, parlemen yang baru dan pemerintahan yang baru yang akan datang hubungan kedua negara ini semakin kuat ya semakin uh, dalam dan semakin meningkat di semua sektor itu pada intinya karena Jepang menganggap Indonesia ini adalah partner yang sangat strategis dan uh, tradisional, artinya sudah cukup lama. Moreover, Fadli Zon added, Indonesia and Japan share the same view regarding the double standards of democracy by developed countries. Both countries agree this double standard must be ended immediately. Andini and Edo, Tivia Parliament Report. During the meeting with the British ambassador to Indonesia, BKS AP of the House emphasized strengthening bilateral cooperations, including parliamentary collaboration, regional security, defense, and sustainable infrastructure. Fadlizon explained cooperations of Indonesia and UK in politics, security, defense, economy, trade, education, and clean energy has grown significantly. However, Fadli expressed concerns over the rise of right-wing violence in the UK, especially related to race and religion-based sentiments. Additionally, BKSAP of the House urged the UK to join the international community in stopping support for Israel genocide of the Palestinian people in order to achieve global peace. Kita berharap Parlemen Inggris juga bicara tentang Palestina, memberikan satu posisi yang jelas, yang kuat untuk bisa ikut mendorong perang ini segera berhenti. Dunia menyaksikan bagaimana standar ganda dalam hal misalnya konflik Rusia-Ukraina berbeda dengan konflik yang terjadi di Gaza. Pemerintah Inggris maupun juga Parlemen Inggris ikut mendorong bagaimana segera perang di Gaza ini bisa berakhir. Furthermore, Fadlizon added strong investment cooperation is reflected in the 57.2% increase in UK investment in Indonesia in 2022, with bilateral trade reaching 2.44 billion US dollar. He hoped the Indonesia UK Joint Economic and Trade Committee will play a strategic role in enhancing bilateral trade. Fitian and Rituan, TVA Parliament Report. 
Commission 6 of the House urged the National Standardization Agency to strengthen role as the government institution responsible for the national standardization. This includes improving product quality by enforcing the Indonesian national standard. Member of Commission 6 of the House, Nevi Zuairina, warned the cheap import products have flooded Indonesia. This has raised concerns among local MSME. The presence of high-quality imported goods sold at low prices makes it difficult for local MSME to compete. Therefore, Nevi has demanded the National Standardization Agency, or BSN, to maintain the competitiveness of local MSMEs by implementing the license of SNE, or Standard National Indonesia, as reference to improve their product quality and creativity. The implementation of SNE is also seen as a solution for developing the national MSME sector. Kita kan harus ada ada dari BSN tuh harus memastikan ya perannya ya agar uh, perannya itu berkualitas dan memiliki daya saing. Ini BSN punya peran penting nih, apalagi dengan adanya ratifikasi perdagangan kan sangat mudah ya. Bahkan kadang barang masuk ke kita pajaknya kata malah 0% ya seperti kayak keramik atau ini bagaimana kualitasnya nah, terus bagaimana bentuk bentuk pelakuan DB memudahkan mereka pelaku MK itu mendapatkan SNI currently the MSME sector dominates 99.9 percent or 65.4 million of business entities in Indonesia contributing 61 percent to the national gross domestic product and absorbing nearly 97 percent of Indonesia's workforce. Andini and Aang, TVA Parliament Report. After the break, we will bring you more updates on Commission 9 of the House. Stay tuned to House News. Commission 1 of the House hopes that the 79th Independence Day of Indonesia can be a guide for the government and the state institutions to innovate, collaborate, and advance nations across various sectors. Member of Commission 1 of the House, Dave Akbar Sah, mentioned, as digital technology improves, the government should continue to prioritize cybersecurity challenges. The numerous cases of personal and national data breaches indicate Indonesia's cybersecurity still needs improvement. He hopes the government's performance in the cyber sectors will not only focus on protecting and securing data, but also innovate to be more user-friendly and provide economic benefits for the Indonesian people. Bagaimana kita berinovasi, bagaimana kita berkolaborasi, dan bagaimana kita terus menciptakan suasana yang baru, semangat yang baru, untuk demi mencapai masyarakat uh, yang lebih kuat, masyarakat yang lebih sehat, dan Indonesia yang selalu terdepan di berbagai macam sektor. Untuk kita menuju uh, digitalisasi, itu kita membutuhkan cyber security yang benar-benar kuat. Akan tapi cyber security itu uh, walaupun harus mengamankan dan menjaga data uh, pribadi kita, uh, akan tapi tetap harus berinovasi untuk menjadi lebih friendly, lebih welcome, dan bisa memiliki dampak ekonomis yang besar bagi masyarakat Indonesia uh, secara khusus dan masyarakat. Furthermore, Dave underlines the celebrations of Indonesia 17th in Independence Day can be used as a momentum to create a new atmosphere and spirit, fostering a stronger, healthier, and more advanced society. Andini and Andri, TVA Parliament Report. The House supports budget allocation in 2025 state budget to fulfill governmental responsibilities by advancing economic transformation, boosting investment attractiveness, and generating more employment opportunities. Member of Commission 11 of the House, Fauzi Amro, urges the Ministry of Finance to provide flexible fiscal space in the 2025 state budget. This will allow the new administrations to implement its vision and missions during the transition period while continuing the current government's programs. He also asked to maintain the deficit limits. Additionally, the budget for the development of the new capital city in Nusantara should also be a priority. Artinya, pendapatan negara kita 2800 belanja kita 3500 Itu kurang lebih defisit 700 triliun. Artinya 2,42-2,52 persen. Nah, oleh sebab itu, kita minta kepada uh, Menteri Keuangan untuk memberikan ruang fiskal yang tinggi sehingga 
visi misi Pak jo, uh, Pak Prabowo yang baru itu bisa tercapai. On the other hand, member of Commission Six of the House Andre Rosiade considers the government's proposed economic growth target to be realistic amidst global uncertainty. He expects the downstream industry programs will continue and contribute optimally to job creations. Political stability will certainly play a role in supporting economic growth and attracting investment to Indonesia. Dengan situasi dunia yang penuh krisis ya dan kita pastian ya bahwa kita sangat bergantung di pasar domestik dan ini memang PR kita ya bagaimana kita menjaga kemampuan pasar domestik untuk bisa belanja terus. Tapi saya sangat optimis ini bisa berjalan karena pemerintah uh, melakukan banyak program. TVA Parliament Team reports. In response to the ongoing issue of harmful ingredients in food, beverages, and medicines, Commission 9 of the House has urged the Food and Drug Supervisory Agency to intensify its oversight of drug and food distribution. Vice Chairperson of Commission 9 of the House Kurniasi Mufidayati urged the Food and Drug Supervisory Agency or BPOM to be more vigilant in issuing product licenses and ensure the safety and quality of medicines used by the public. She emphasized this is to prevent future cases of kidney failure in children and to maintain the overall health quality of the Indonesian's populations. Pengawasan untuk memberikan izin dan pengawasan rutin meninjau ulang ya produk-produk yang sudah diberikan izin ini mengingat supaya tidak terjadi lagi kasus gagal ginjal pada anak ya itu kan kelalaian yang menurut saya ada obat yang direkomendasikan oleh dokter ada izinnya ternyata bisa menyebabkan sakit yang bahkan menyebabkan kematian hal ini tidak boleh terjadi jadi fungsi pengawasan harus ditingkatkan dan uh, fungsi apa namanya pendampingan juga harus dilakukan karenanya anggaran ini perlu juga merujuk ke sana for the more coordinated demands BPOM to improve its drug and food supervision to protect public health and enhance national competitiveness. Stricter oversight will help prevent the circulation of harmful products, ensuring consumer safety. Samuel Endwi, TVA Parliament Report. We will have more interesting stories on education when we return only on House News. A physics teacher in Mexican school recently went viral on social media. The reason is that he showcased the character from One Piece manga to teach his student the basic concept of physics. In a viral post on social media, a physics teacher decided to use One Piece character, Luffy, who has a stretching ability for a new purpose, which is to teach physics. Luffy's stretching ability has evolved rapidly in the story of One Piece. In a post on his official social media account, the teacher explained the theory and formulas of tensile strength by showcasing Luffy as an example of his teaching material. This certainly represents a new innovation in classroom learning. In the largest fan pages of One Piece on X, there is an explanation of the theory and formulas of Archimedes' principle, showcasing the pirate ship going merry and the devil fruit as example of his teaching material. In addition, the teacher illustrates Zoro looking in the mirror because he is teaching the basic physics concept of reflection. Of course, this can be an effective way to learn, especially in physics lessons. Oliver Castro, a physics teacher from Mexico, explained basic physics principles such as hydrostatic pressure and freefall. In a post on his official Instagram account, the teacher beautifully depicts the character along with the physics formulas he teaches. Undoubtedly, featuring one piece to attract students' attention can be considered one of the most creative teaching methods of all time. With this, are you interested in learning physics?
Fairmont State University's Castleton campus has granted the honorary degree of a Doctor of Literature on a cat, not for his mousing or napping, but it is for his friendliness. A cat in the U.S. named Max now earned a doctorate in literature when Fairmont State University granted an honorary degree on the campus dwelling tabby in recognition of his friendliness. The cat full name Max Doe has proved himself to be a skilled napper and hunter of mice and he has been an affectionate member of the campus family for years. The campus has bestowed upon Max Doe prestigious title of doctor, complete with all the catnip perks, scratching post privileges, and litter box responsibilities that come with it. Max Doe was once a wild kitten in the Fairmont town, but for the last five years, he has lived with his human Ashley Doe in Castleton. Max Doe has been tracking out to Fairmont State Castleton campus for pretty much the entire time he has lived with Ashley. Their students scoop him up and give him rides in their backpack, snap picture of him for the photographic classes, and otherwise draw emotional support from him. Max Doe accompanies prospective Fairmont State students on tours that begin from a building across his family's house. Not every creature has been as pleased with Max Doe's presence. Feral cats in the neighborhood have attacked him. But once that became known, members of the campus community sought to protect him. And they have a request from Ashley Doe to bring Max home if he is ever seen out and about after 5 p.m. As human consumption of cardboard use rises, recycling becomes essential to conserve natural resources and minimize pollution. Effective cardboard recycling can reduce waste and lessen the environmental impact of production. In today's world, where environmental concerns are at the forefront of global discussions, cardboard recycling stands out as a simple yet impactful way to contribute to sustainability. Recycling cardboard not only helps in reducing waste, but also conserve natural resources, reduce energy consumption, and mitigate climate change. Recycling cardboard is a simple process and it can be done by individuals and businesses alike. In most communities, there is a recycling center where people can drop off their cardboard waste. Businesses, on the other hand, they may choose to use a recycling surface which picks up the cardboard waste and takes it to the recycling center. When disposing of cardboard, it is essential to make sure that it is clean and free of contaminants. One of the most immediate benefits of cardboard recycling is the reductions of waste sent to landfills. Cardboard is a significant component of solid waste and when it decomposes in landfills, it releases methane, a potent greenhouse gas. By recycling cardboard, we can significantly cut down the volume of waste in landfills, thereby reducing methane emissions and the associated environmental impact. To promote recycling, it is important to educate people about the benefits of recycling cardboard and other materials. This can be done through community events, informational campaigns, and educational programs. Also, having clear labeling and instructions on the packaging on how to dispose of it can help to increase the recycling rate. And that's house news for today. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye.